So we are back at the all weld shop. And after taking the first frame home, we discovered there was a bit of an issue. Uh, the new welding technique, though it is stronger, it introduced more heat, which warped some of the metal. Matt and his crew are helping me fix up the frame. So some things we were able just to put a big wrench on and twist back into shape. But a few others we discovered, the robots had a little pot belly. The bottom plate gets welded on the outer edge and it potato chips slightly, giving them a raised surface. Matt has called upon his old mentor to help him find a way to flatten the frames. With two recommendations, one using a torch and cooling method to shrink the metal, the other using a hydraulic press to press it back into shape. They decided to go with the hydraulic press method first to see if they could get this little belly off the new Scorpios frames. I felt something there. Yeah, I think it started to just a little yeah, bit. It, it, now our hump is more here. If my ram holds up. <laughs> I got a little weld right here, but it's I think it's perfect this way. Come here, boy. Come here. Come here. So basically you want to tell guys when using a grinder, you grind from the 12 o'clock position to the 4 o'clock position. Don't don't ever grind on this side. Three speed. If you're grinding like this, when it kicks, it's gonna kick back at you, it's gonna go into your guts. If you're grinding like this, it's gonna pull away from you. You grind if you want to get yourself a, a flat machine type surface. You can see we did one here when the bot was flipped over the other way. So what I did is I flipped it over so that I can grind from the flat side out so that it only hits the high spots. If I was to do the opposite, where I'm welding from the weld side to the flat, it's gonna grind into the weld. Whereas like right here, you can see when I ground these, I went from the flat side out to the weld and from the flat side out to the weld. Flip it over, and again, I'm grinding from the flat side out to the weld, and it'll be perfectly flat when I'm done. And that's almost as flat as machining it. It's not going to be as perfect, but really, really close. After a full day of tweaking, adjusting, and checking, we have finished all three frames, and it's time for the fun part, which is a full drive test of number six for the very first time. So let's see what this thing can do.